thank you guys again for coming to another party. Again, my house is packed and I'm really happy to see that. Today the topic is uh, school choice and I have got this put together by Reason Foundation. They're one of my favorite organizations ever. <laughs> what is missing in education reform uh, is courage. When we talk to people about how passionate we are about education reform, how we want them to in this ridiculous system of uh, people uh, getting automatic tenure and jobs for life, no matter what performance they do, and we say that we need to change these things, they will tell you, well, we cannot change them because uh, this would make a certain group mad at me, or it would make it hard for me to get reelected. And you say, well, that's a, a squirmish politician. But what about us? Why do we accept it? Why do we allow the politicians to tell there's nothing that we can do about the problem? Don't accept that they cannot change the problem. Don't accept that they're unwilling to put their jobs on the line to change the problem. It doesn't matter if you like public schools, private schools, nonprofit schools, home schools, virtual schools, magnet schools. Really what we're talking about is the idea that the money should follow the kid and the parents should have the right of exit to choose the kind of school that they would like. The light like Steve Jobs. I said once to our bumper sticker that really stayed with me. said, uh, we don't care, we don't have to, we're the phone company. Those of you who are a certain age, I know some of you a little younger than me, might not remember the phone company was a monopoly. And when you have a monopoly, you don't have to care. That's what education is in this country. It's a monopoly, it's a cartel. And it's got to be broken. Sure, we need better teachers in the classroom, but the underlying tone of President Obama's message was, we need more union teachers, we need more public schools. That's not what we need. We need parents and teachers choosing where they send their students and taking the money with them, because through competition is the only way we're going to level in any way educational outcomes in our country. Okay, guys, we're going to do a short Q&A, and it, I mean short. People who are already in the system, are they going to get all the things that they've been promised by the unions and it's just moving forward where we're actually clear of those things. The payments they've been promised contractually, it's virtually impossible, the courts have ruled, to overturn them retroactively. Um, and so I don't know that you'll be able to get rid of those in particular, but there's no doubt that one of the reasons that, that education is in the state that it is today, particularly in California, but throughout the country, is because of, of union power. I mean, everything you're talking about, I mean, you're, you're, it's a good question, and everything that we are talking about, the unions are going to fight against. And fine, we know they're going to do that. Right. So the best thing I think we can do is have, have as many fires going at the same time. They have a lot of money, but it's not an endless supply. Are you guys working with any private capital partners that have created some creative solutions? Or are you just looking for this to be a mass initiative from a groundswell outreach, which obviously will take an incredibly long time? It used to be, I think, people would just give money to school systems. They would, they would get wasted. People stopped giving money. Give your money to school systems, but only give it if you can establish uh, 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 some type of program that is really reform-minded and you won't give the money unless they implement it. I never gave a damn about school. I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> there's a reason why. Like, nobody really is engaged. Nobody cares about this. There's no options. It's one size fits all. And these are the people behind the scenes that are tackling the details of the union contracts and, and city legislatures and going at this problem. And hopefully, you know, it's the future of America. It's a big deal.